Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and it's Freaky Friday. Ah, I love Fridays. And uh, join me tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, over at Truth Frequency Radio, TFRLive.com, TFRLive.com. Join me, Kev Baker, Johnny Whistle, Scotty Lopez, and Kenneth Webb, a.k.a. Change the Channel on YouTube. We'll be uh, discussing anything and everything tinfoil hat, because that's where it's at. And speaking of tinfoil hat, Daily Star is uh, saying that AI is going to allow humans to communicate via telepathy. Yes, my friends, telepathy is coming. You know, I just recently talked about RF poisoning and these wireless devices. We had better find another way to transmit data because this is going to be bad if we're starting to talk about implants that are going to provide a brain machine interface and you're going to implant a transmitter deep inside your brain. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Uh, let me just tell you something, folks. It's not going to end well. Interesting. It says, Colonel, a business set up last year, is developing technology that would give people super intelligence like never seen before. Brian Johnson, who founded the company, presented the idea of a brain computer interface which would allow us to communicate with machines, and it would also give people the capability to solve incredibly complex problems in a matter of seconds. Johnson said, I'd argue that this is a necessity for the future and for our relevance. This is due, of course, to fears that um, mankind will potentially be useless in a world dominated by machines. See, I, I disagree with that. I think that if we use the machines the right way and we implement the technology right, humans could be freed up to do a lot of things that we can't do right now. Why, you wouldn't have to work. The robots would work. You just put them to work. And you know what we could do? We could pursue our dreams. You want to climb Mount Everest? Climb Mount Everest. You want to go and, uh, you know, explore the rainforest? Do it. Sit in your house all day. Play Xbox. It doesn't matter. The robots, they're growing the food. They're making the clothes. They're doing all that kind of stuff. We don't have to do it anymore. Now, if it was done that way, well, that would be really awesome. But unfortunately, I can't find any point in human history where we've had true, um, a true technical breakthrough like this and have it not totally and completely derailed and steamrolled by the powers it wouldn't be to the point where it is of detriment to us. So, I'm not at all confident that we can implement this right. And not to mention the fact that I'm not at all confident of a brain-machine interface if that um, entails a wireless component. Now, if you're jacking in or something like that, who knows? Like I said, to each their own. People need to be given the facts, the truth, and then... Once they have the facts and they've done the research, make your decision. And it may end up be, uh, it may end up being going down that road of, of technology. And so be it. But people need to get both sides of the story regardless. And that's what's being stolen from us is that ability to choose. Because we don't have all the choice. We don't have all the information. And we don't know what choices we have. And that, to me, is extremely criminal. And even with this stuff coming, and believe me, folks, there's nothing, I would love nothing more than to have a supercomputing brain. It would be phenomenal. It would be awesome. However, at what cost? And these are the things that we have to consider. And I don't think we have the information enough yet to make a really, truly well-informed decision. So, while I'm excited to see this technology advance, I'm not at all confident in the human race that we're going to be able to control its rollout. I mean, look at what's going on now. I think we've already lost control. So, buckle up. It gets rough from here. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. 
feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. And don't forget, join me tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, midnight in the UK for Freaky Friday. TFRlive.com. Have a great day, everybody.